I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It is Manchester City taking on Real Madrid. And it's Ruben Dias. Karim Benzema. Benzema! And saved by the keeper. Short corner favoured, and that is how to block. Real Madrid get the throw in. Vinicius Junior. Oh, breezing past him. He knows he's got to react. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Horse with the corner. Growing pressure here, and another corner. And a no-nonsense clearance. He continues his run, and the keeper there to deal with it. Short corner it is, and the snuffing out of the cross there. He's taken on his opponent here. Flag up, tight offside. Mares. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Vinicius Junior. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Could be! And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! Well, just take another look at this, because the 1-2 to get behind the defence is superbly worked. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And space here on the flank. Surely! Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. This could be dangerous. Vinicius Junior. And providing width. Could cross it in here. The referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. Everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner. But now the free kick has to be awarded. And players waiting at the far post. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Good effort here. Away again here on the back of that leveler. What a shocking pass, really. City moving the ball forward. What can they do from here?
Well, no stopping him. Ilkay Gundogan at the ready. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Karim Benzema. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And the cross smuggled away. Throw into Manchester City. Rodri. Erling Haaland. This is Kroos. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Oh, good looking run. goalkeeping De Bruyne well, this could pose problems for the defenders he's just got to continue his run oh a superb chip spellbinding Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is sublime. He sees the keeper's position and just chips it over him. It's a breathtaking goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Tony Kroos. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Showing a lot of guile there. The supporters want to see him have a go. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Substitution for Real Madrid. Put in by De Bruyne. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. They get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Happy birthday to Nathan Walker. Celebrating his birthday today from Dan and Lucy. And a fine tackle. Rudiger. Out of play, City throw. Grealish. On to Holland. Mares. On to Walker. Teammates in the middle. And still dangerous. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Giving the ball away. Vinicius Junior.
He's in with a chance. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Three-two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Well, we had a decent reading of that ball in. And that is that. And the hosts will take with them a lead going into the return game. Yeah, that was a tight game. And I think they just about deserve their lead but it's a slender one and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final.